I said a tick, a tock, a ticky, a ticky to the tick, tick tock, and it don't stop. Were you able to turn the digital into analog? Was it kind of easier? Maybe a little hard. Okay, I'll stop. But was it? Were you able to turn the digital numbers, the digital time, into an analog visual representation of what it would look like on an analog clock? So, let's see, let's try it out. Now remember, our hours are right there. Those are our biggest numbers, that's our hour. That's gonna be our first number, that's our hour. So, 12, is it noon or midnight? Then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and back to either noon or midnight. That's how a day works, right? There's no 13 or unless you're military time, but we're not getting into that. And then our minutes. Our minutes count by fives. We skip count by five based on the hour. So this is gonna be either zero or sixty. I know that's kind of confusing. It's always gonna have the double zero though, if the minute arrow is straight up. But if it's over here at the one, the minutes will be five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. If it's on the nine, if the minute hand is on the nine, that'll be 45 minutes, 50 minutes if it's on the 10. If the minute hand is on the 11, that means it's 55 minutes. And our first, Time, that was I think our dinner time was five o'clock so our smallest hand our smaller sized hand that's gonna be for our hours and that's gonna point straight to the number very direct so five where's our five here it is so I'm gonna draw my small hand pointing to the five and my double zero so where does that go where would my minutes point straight up they point to my 12. So my long hand, my minute hand would be up at the five, at the 12, and my hour hand would be down at the five. Did you guys get that? All right. Let's try the next one. 2.30, I think that was play time. Yes, let's make sure we get this one right. So we always start with the hours in our small hand first. So where would our two be on the clock for hours? Oh, there it is. So my small hand would point to the two, and where would my minute hand point? Well, let's skip count by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And that makes sense because if we're skip counting by five, five groups of six equals 30. So if it was 2.30, your two would be over here, your hour hand, and your 30 would go straight down. That would be 2.30. Did you get that one right? I sure hope so. Now next was our bedtime, and I stayed up a little late, if you remembered. I had 9.30 before, now we push it to 9.45. So let's see what that would look like. Okay, our hours. Our hour number would be where? Nine, where's our nine? Oh, there he is. So we'd have a small hand or a big hand pointing to the nine. Yeah, for hours, it would just be the small hand. Now 45, oh, we haven't done 45 yet, so let's skip count by five. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, so 945, both hands are facing the same direction. Hey, you know what I just thought of? An easy way too. If I know that the arrow going all the way straight down is 30 minutes, I can just skip count by five, starting at my 30. So if I know I'm looking for a 45 on my clock, I can just start down here at the six and count 30, 35, 40, 45. That makes a lot of sense. So nine, my ninth hour, my shorthand would face straight over to the nine, and 45, my 45 minutes, that's also the nine. So I draw my longer arrow right over, and that would be 945. <laughs> How cool. Did you guys get that? All right, and our last one, 815. Let's see, our hour, let's get our hour first. So our small hand would 
point to the eight, of course, simple enough. And 15, where would that be? Do you know? Yeah, that's right. It would point to the three, because five times three is 15, but also I can skip count if I want. Five, 10, 15. So eight, 15 would look a little something like that. Do you think you're getting the hang of it? I sure hope so. You can always practice more if you want. Time goes on. Plenty of time to practice time.